Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial we are going to create a watercolor glitter effect using Photoshop. So I'm using some already made watercolor lettering for this. It's just a scan of it. But if you don't feel comfortable using your own watercolor lettering, I'm also going to share a technique for applying the same effect to your favorite font. So right here, this font is my own font. It's called Miss Magnolia, and I've applied the exact same effect right here. So I'm gonna show you both ways. So whether or not you are comfortable with your watercolor lettering or not, you'll still be able to achieve the same result. And one other example of this kind of effect in use, um, I posted this quite a while ago on my Instagram, um, but you can see it's just on the flourishes here instead of the lettering. So you have a lot of flexibility with this uh, effect as well. So we're just gonna hop right in and get started. We're gonna do this one first and then we're gonna follow it up with the font one. So if you already have your own watercolor lettering, it's all scanned in, um, I'm gonna take you through the steps to apply that glitter. So this option is a lot quicker to apply the glitter to, but we're going to go over a couple of masking things so you can apply the glitter to only the elements that you would like. So all you're going to do is double click on your lettering layer and that will open up your layer styles. I am in Photoshop Creative Cloud, um, but Photoshop CS3 or newer will all work with this effect. So the glitter I'm using is a pattern that I created. It's part of my Glitz and Glam Photoshop kit, but if you have your own glitter texture, you're, you can just put it in, uh, just go file place and put it right on top of your lettering. If you'd like to use the Glitz and Glam kit, I'm gonna show you how to use that after you install your patterns. You just come over here and you can choose whatever patterns you'd like. Um, all these gold, silver, and black uh, metallic textures are part of that kit. So you can see we've got foil textures, we've got glitter textures, there's um, glimmer textures in here. There's all kinds of different gem style textures. So what we're gonna use is a silver glitter texture and you wanna make sure your blend mode is set to overlay for this to get the strongest results. If you want more subtle glitter, you can choose soft light or even lighten. Um, so you can kind of toggle through and see what you prefer for how much glitter you'd like to show through. So for me, my personal preference is the overlay. So as you can see, I've got my pattern right here. I've scaled it down to 50%. I like scaling these in 25% increments. Um, you can see this is what 25 looks like. It's just a lot crisper, the texture itself, when you go in 25% increments. And you can see uh, what 100 looks like right here. So that seemed a little large for me, so I toggled mine down to 50%. And if you want it to take on the same kind of colors that you have in your actual watercolor, stick with a silver texture. If you choose gold, it's going to put a little bit of a gold or yellow tint to your existing watercolor color. So just a heads up on that. So I'm using my silver glitter for this. So when you're all set, you can hit okay. So that's all great that we have this, but what if you want to apply the glitter to maybe just this part, or maybe you wanna fade um, a fade effect happening where you have a little bit of this top word with your texture and then it fades into a bunch of glitter. So if you want to apply your texture to selective elements as you're working, um, the workaround for this would be using your, your existing layer right here. You're going to duplicate your layer. So you can right click and just choose duplicate layer. You can also hold your um, layer and just drag it over this icon right here next to the trash can, not the trash can, the one to the left of it, and that will also create a copy. And what you wanna do is on the bottom layer, you're just gonna turn off effects for this one. So there's no effects. So if I shut off this top layer, you can see the effects are turned off for this bottom layer, but the top layer does have the effects. And this is where your masking comes in. So your masking is a way to reveal certain elements or hide other elements. So I have an entire tutorial on masking. I'll leave a link on screen and in the video description on how to do that. Um, so what you wanna do to create a mask is hit this little icon right here, and this is your mask, and you're gonna paint in black to conceal and paint in white to reveal. So we wanna conceal parts of the glitter on this top word. So I'm gonna hit B on my keyboard for my brush tool. I have a soft brush selected right here. You can see my hardness is down all the way to zero. And I'm painting in black because I wanna hide the top part of this. And all you have to do is begin painting and if you want a more subtle effect, you can increase the size of your brush by hitting your close bracket key on your keyboard. And you can just kind of brush along the tops 
and that will kind of fade it out. So that is how to select different elements. That's what I did with this one, only I brushed out the letters of my word begin right here. So everything else had the texture on it, but not the word. So that's a really nice trick for applying just the texture to wherever you want it to be. So you can see right here where we painted in black, um, that is where it's hidden. So that is applying a watercolor glitter effect to existing watercolor lettering. So in this example, I'm gonna show you how to do the same thing, only applying it to typography instead. So I'm gonna come over here, I've got a brand new document. I'm just gonna write out my text, watercolor glitter. Make it nice and big. Once again, this is my font called Miss Magnolia. I'll leave a link in the video description and on screen for this if you'd like to check it out. All right, so we've got that all set and now we're gonna apply a watercolor texture to this. So in order to do that, just double click on your text layer and you're gonna come back over to pattern overlay and this time we're going to apply a watercolor pattern. And the watercolor pattern I'm using is from my watercolor texture kit volume three. I'll leave a link on screen in the video description for that. But if you have your own watercolor that you'd like to use, you can hit file place and then just um, create a clipping mask for it. So if you're using the pattern styles from my watercolor kit, you're just gonna come over here to pattern overlay. You're gonna change the blend mode over here to normal and you're going to drop this down and these are some of the textures from the kit. So you can see there's a bunch of different colors to choose from and we'll choose a different color than um, the example just so you can see how it works with different colors as well. So I think I'm going to choose this blue green color and once again you can adjust your scale. This is what 25% looks like. I think I'm going to go with that since there's more variety in the color here and then just hit OK. All right, so the thing about applying pattern textures is that you can apply your pattern overlay, but then you can't apply any additional patterns on top of it. So that's where smart objects come in. So over here, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna create another copy of this. So we have the original kind of tucked away in case we wanna change our watercolor later. So because once you convert it to a smart object, you kind of remove um, your ability to your ability to immediately edit that watercolor. So we're just gonna create a copy just like we did before. And I'm going to turn off this bottom layer and I'm gonna right click on the top layer and choose convert to smart object right here. So once you do that, you can see now it looks different. It no longer has the T right here. So now we can actually apply that glitter on top of it. So once again, I'm gonna double click here and choose pattern overlay and this time I can choose a glitter overlay. You're just gonna wanna make sure your blend mode is changed to overlay this time. And you can see that glitter popping through. I think I want it to be a little bit bigger here. That looks better. So you can see it's really vibrant and it's really beautiful. And if we wanna do the same thing that we did before with kind of having it as a fade or selecting which areas of your text has the glitter, we're just gonna hit okay right here and we're gonna do the exact same thing we did before. We're gonna create a copy of this layer and we're gonna toggle this down and turn off the effects for this bottom layer right here. Remember this is our text layer, this is our smart object with the glitter, and then we made a copy of our smart object with the glitter. So the bottom glitter copy, we're gonna turn off the effects so you can see no more glitter. So it's only on the top one, and then we're gonna create a layer mask. So we're just gonna click on this icon right here, we're gonna hit our B for our brush tool, and you can see it's got black right here, and once again we can do the exact same thing we did before and fade it out, or you can just remove it all the way from this top word if you'd like. So you're just gonna come in here and remove the glitter, and then you're all set. So you can see um, it's really easy to apply glitter to whatever elements you'd like. Just utilize that layer mask and adjust your settings as needed for your glitter and your watercolor textures. And you don't even need to use your own original watercolor lettering. If there's a font that you'd like to apply the same effect to, by all means, you can do that as well. So that's how to create a watercolor glitter effect in Photoshop. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe. I release a new design tutorial every single Tuesday. And don't forget to head on over to my blog, every-tuesday.com for even more design tutorials and a bunch of design freebies. And make sure you check the video description right underneath this video for all the links for everything mentioned within this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week.